Manchester United have dropped two points this evening at home to Leeds United, two goals to two. And it's disappointing man, for Manchester United this evening, very, very disappointing. It is definitely two points completely down the drain. I know Manchester United have come back in that second half 2 0 down, but I wasn't even over the moon when Jaden Sancho scored that goal. I was more relieved because. A draw at home is never a good result for Manchester United. You've got to be winning at home. And yes, we've won 13 on the bounce home, which is great. If we hadn't actually won that 13 on the bounce, we would be, it would be very hairy for the, the top four. It really would. Because if we hadn't gone on this massive good run since the World Cup, we would be nowhere near the top four if you're looking at it. And we've allowed the other teams to close their gap on us. The likes of Newcastle, can probably, I think, can now go above us with their game in hand and Tottenham are only about four points behind Manchester United now and we've got to play away at Tottenham and our away record isn't great so that is definitely two massive points dropped it really is for Manchester United I mean we've gone two goals down which is just unacceptable for Manchester United at home but you do look at the contents of the fact that the team that Manchester United have put out this evening is nowhere near the level of the team that Manchester United will hopefully have if Ten Hag is to continue this good this good run of form and take it further over the next couple of seasons. If he is still manager in the next two, three seasons, which you do hope he is if he is successful, then you would expect almost a completely quite a few different players from that starting lineup tonight in, in a new starting lineup. That won't be the same starting lineup in two years, not a chance. Certain players out there are not good enough to be to be playing games for Manchester United, and we know that. And this is a massive problem. And yes, Casemiro's was a, a red card, which we saw the other night. But I was massively concerned when we put out such a strong team against Forest in the second leg of the League Cup. And I know he's obsessed about winning that League Cup, but we might not even win it in the final. You never know. And. Getting in that top four is the main aim. I thought Manchester United were almost home hosed the a couple of weeks a few weeks ago. But we've dropped some points against Palace. Then we dropped three against Arsenal, and now we've dropped another two this evening. So it's left Manchester United a bit hairy. I still think we we are the the fourth favourite to get that last spot. I think probably the other three are probably ahead of Manchester United, Newcastle and uh, Arsenal and Man City are in better, uh, have been better this season than Manchester United. I mean, Newcastle have drawn a lot of games, but they've been ahead of Manchester United a lot of the time. And they've hardly lost. I think they've only lost two games all season. I think one in the FA Cup and one in the league. But we, we, we've seen where Manchester United's problems are in that midfield. When there's no Casemiro and Eriksen, who are both at the, the wrong side of their careers. They're both coming to the end of their careers. Casemiro probably two or three maybe four years and a couple of years maybe at most for Ericsson and that is a massive concern for me in that midfield because you, you're playing the likes of Fred, McTominay, other players like that that aren't at the level of that even though McTominay's injured as well at the moment so it leaves Manchester United very thin in there and that is a massive problem for Manchester United and will have to be rectified in the summer. Fred was very very poor this evening and it looks like for me his days probably at Manchester United are a bit numbered but and we probably will have to bring at least one or two midfield. I would probably say two quality midfielders are needed in that midfield in the summer. And for me, the, the level of midfielder that I would want to see come to Manchester United, maybe we won't get him, but the likes of the Jude Bellum, that sort of level of midfielder is needed in that Manchester United midfield because you see how much Casemiro and Eriksen have transformed that midfield. And Manchester United's midfield has been pretty shit for a few years. And when we've had a half-decent midfielder like Andres, uh, and like Herrera or someone like that in, in, in midfield, uh, p people were ecstatic and, and, and now we've actually got, we've had two really good midfielders, it just shows you the difference of level of midfielders than we've had then, then when we had, had the likes of Pogba in midfield who were putting in, in average performances most weeks and the level has just gone up in, in, the, in that midfield. Now up front as well tonight was in the, the first half uh, we've got Wekos up front, who for me isn't obviously the level of, of player Manchester United need, but we needed someone up there because of Anthony Martial not being being available hardly ever. And that, is, that has been another massive concern for Manchester United. 
uh, yet again with with him unavailable and he and and I, I see a lot of people slagging him off on on Twitter and that and yes wasn't wasn't his best performance again this evening but you know he is, he is what he is and Ganacho in that first half yes we were one 0 down very early on from that strike uh, very early on but Ganacho yes very good beats his beats a man can beat plenty of players down the down the wing but. Is he going to get Manchester United the goals this season that Manchester United need? I'm not too sure. I, I, I'm still not convinced that he will be at Manchester United next season. I, I think a loan could do him the, the world of good and I think that could, could potentially happen for Manchester United because there is comp going to hopefully be more competition in places when obviously Anthony's out at the moment. Sancho's come back so and Ahmed Diallo will hopefully come back to Manchester United next season after a good loan spell at Sunderland. So maybe it's now time to over, hand over the baton uh, and, uh, for Ganacho and let Ahmad come in and, and have a chance to, to show his talent at Manchester United next season because he'll be about 21 then. And then Ganacho maybe go out on loan and play week in, week out and get used to it maybe in the Championship because I don't think he's ready to be starting many games for Manchester United and you see that with his inconsistency. And luckily for him, he scored two goals early, fairly early on in his career because since then, two goals he scored. He has missed a few sitters from, uh, in and around that. He's missed a few sitters and then he has missed chances this evening. So it probably is a bit of a confidence thing. He has made a few assists, made some good goals this season for Manchester United, but he isn't getting regular football in terms of starts for Manchester United. So maybe a loan move would be the best option where... Like Ahmad, he's playing every single week at Sunderland now, and, and, he's, and he's feeling the benefits of it. At Rangers last season, he was very poor. He wasn't getting in the team very often, and maybe that's the case at Manchester United. He maybe needs a run of games in the team to get his confidence up, to get a few goals, a few more assists, and build on that. But second half, when we went 2-0 down, I thought personally it was curtains for Manchester United. I thought we'd lost the game. We've got a goal back. Marcus Rashford continues his good form. I'm still expecting that good form to run out. I really am, but I'm hoping it continues. May Longmack continue past this season and on to next season and on to the season after. We'll have to wait and see, but he got a goal. And then not long after, when, obviously when Jaden Sancho and Plestri come on to, to the pitch, it made a difference and Sancho got himself a goal. Great to see Sancho get a goal. So they were the positives. We come back from two goals down, so we never gave up this evening. And the positives, Rashford continuing his good runner form, certainly his good runner Old Trafford as well. And it's nice to see Sancho back on the score sheet. That is the main, most positive thing from this evening because Anthony's not hitting the heights at the moment that some people expect him when he comes to Manchester United. Ganacho is still young and, and not doing, in, doing enough when, when giving the, the starts. And that is, that is under, understandable because of his age and everything. So Manchester United need other options to take the burden off Marcus Rashford and Bruno Fernandes has done that a bit lately but if Sancho can chip in with some goals that could be vital in Manchester United clinging the fourth spot in the Premier League this season or maybe even finishing third. We'll have to wait and see but anyway let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. A massive blow to Manchester United this evening. We go again against Leeds at the weekend so smash that like button. Smash the subscribe button, share the video if you're watching on Facebook and I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.